How's it going, everybody, and welcome back. This is Wake Run Collapse. Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas, and happy Monday if you are not celebrating Christmas. For today, I've got the Japanese Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Premium Trainer Box. It's a pretty hefty box. Uh, got a lot of playable trainers inside and energy cards, a bunch of other goodies, and 10 packs each of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon for us to enjoy. Plus, it comes in this cool box in general. Pick this up from... AmiAmi.com Ami was about 40 bucks, I think, if memory serves me right. It's like $40 plus shipping, but I was already getting my double case, so I don't think it, I don't think the shipping really affected it all that much. So we'll remove all of our sleevings right there. There's actually another separate sleeve over the top of the box. How cool is that? So we'll get rid of that. And this is our remaining box and all the cool stuff inside. Pretty awesome look. I'll probably keep that and use it for something if I have something I can use it for. We'll get rid of all this funny cardboard inside. Get rid of that over there. We'll pull out our 20 packs, which we will do last. Again, 10 of Ultra Sun, 10 of Ultra Moon. That'll be for the end of the video. In the meantime, let's see what else is in here. How about these cool sleeves for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? That's pretty awesome. Liking it. What else we got in here? Uh, cool damage counters. Uh, they're not like the cardboard ones that you have to punch out of holes, but instead you've got like the, actually you've got the status effects in the back, the GX marker, and plus these like, I think they're acrylic, but they're, they're nice regardless. I'm going to keep this sealed up just the way it is. Also, going to open the trainers so that you can see them, but I will not open the energies. Suffice to say, there's 12 of each inside of here, and I'd much rather keep it sealed as I have no use for actually opening them. But I will open this so I can show you what is inside of here. Oh, so this is interesting. It actually has a separate uh, labeling system. Uh, so this is technically like a, uh, like a side collection, odd as that may seem. Uh, Sun and Moon F is the designation at the bottom. 20 cards. So you can see they have their own numbers. In the past, they have occasionally uh, pulled them directly from sets. I think they did that early Sun and Moon or early X and Y. They pulled them right out of sets and just used those cards instead. Uh, but for, for these awesome playable trainers, and let's face it, we wish we had this in English, right, English collectors? We've got Aqua Patch, Nest Ball, Ultra Ball. Got four of those. We have Rare Candy. We've got Choice Band here, uh, Chiave, here's Cynthia, Lily, uh, Ether Paradise, uh, Altar of the Moon, Brooklet Hill, I think is the new name for it, uh, Double Colorless Energies, a VS Seeker, and this has the old X and Y styling on it, so that's kind of amusing to me. But the numbering is still the same at the bottom. It's still 13 out of 20. We have VS Seeker. Uh, Max Elixir right there. Fighting Fury Belt. There's N. Skyla. Uh, Professor Sycamore. There's Lysander right there. And Strong Energy at the very end. So it's kind of cool to have Sun and Moon and X and Y style trainers in the same release. So the, actually we're going to... Pop that back on there for a background. And now we've got our 20 booster packs to open. And we've done very well out of Sun and Moon 5 in general. Uh, but I would love to pull one last full art out of these 20 packs. It's possible. It could happen. I mean, I could get three of them. But I expect a couple of GXs, maybe a Prism Star, maybe a full art. Uh, I don't have super high hopes. There's not anything in particular that I think I'm missing. Uh, but it would be cool to get something neat nonetheless. Uh, so we have Salazzle, Chimchar, a Glameow, Bronzor, and a Magmortar Hollow. Uh, not going to be sleeving as I go. Just taking too much time, I think. So we've got anything in this one? Nope, just a Mount Coronet. Uh, like I had mentioned before, I am interested to see... Actually, I'm going to have to move some stuff around here real quick so that I can put those packs somewhere. There we go. I was interested to see 
exactly what our pull ratios would be out of here. So we got Rosa uh, Roserade, uh, Stunky, Alolan Dugtrio, Grottle, and a Unit Energy. Just a nice little Christmas bonus opening. It's going to bring our total of packs from Sun and Moon 5 to 740. Oh, we get a Leafy on GX. It's a nice find. I'll take that for sure. So now we've got Mo Rotom, uh, Roselia, Mysterious Fossil, Magnemite, and Shield on. Maybe we'll get one GX from each. Who knows? There's a Magnezone Hollow. Anything particularly epic, and I will sleeve it right on the spot. So we've got Hunchcrow, Missing Clover, Turtwig, Chimchar, and a Weavile Hollow. Nice. Uh, a box like this has a lot of value to a Japanese collector who struggles maybe to get trainers or just needs to, to catch up with their playable decks. Maybe they weren't collecting before and this is an opportunity for them. And it's just cool to make sure that these cards are available for everybody so that they don't have to go to local shops and buy them for $5 a piece. You know what I mean? So, pretty happy about that. Last pack of Ultra Sun is going to have Gardenia, Magneton, a Perugly, Diglett, and a Heatran Hollow. So we did pull uh, a hollow or better out of every other pack. We did have one GX in there. So now it's time to move on to Ultra Moon. And maybe we can replicate our success or maybe even beat it by just a little bit. We'll have to see. So we've got a Bomb of Snow, Young Goose, Piplup, Looker, and a Skateboard. Uh, no way of knowing if these were pulled directly from boxes, if they're just random loose packs. I really couldn't figure one way or the other, although based on the uh, the ratios that we're getting, there's a Cresselia Hollow, of getting one generally every other pack, I wouldn't be surprised uh, if these were loaded the same way a booster box would be. So we've got Rotom, Order Pad, Gabite, Gumshoes, and a Shaman. It'd be cool to get another Prism card. Obviously, it'd be best to get a Full Art, but we'll see. We've got Crushing Hammer, Manaphy, Electabuzz, Eevee, and a Lucario Hollow. Not bad. Really, I just find it fun to order different types of product like this whenever possible. They don't have all these, like, pin promo things and premium collection boxes all the time in Japanese. Uh, so, uh, the opportunity to provide different types of opening content like this... Oh my! <laughs> are few and far between. We've got another Full Art Cynthia. That's tremendous. That is really, really cool. It actually is going to mean that I'm going to have two available for tomorrow's sale video. And that is wonderful news. One less person to be disappointed that they can't get their full art, Cynthia. Ah. Good fortune shining upon us. Very, very good fortune. That was a quality box right there. Got a Rampardose Hollow there. Probably get one more Hollow out of the remaining three packs. The ratios to be believed. We've got Toxicroak, a Passimian, Young Goose, Shinx, and Rotom. Uh, we got Rescue Stretcher, Alolan Sandshrew, Baneri, Riolu, and an Empoleon Hollow. And in our final pack, 
of the video. We've got a unit energy, print plup, gibble, a patch of risu, and an electivire. So uh, one glorious pull out of the 20 packs and just generally a fun opening overall. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below and I'll catch you guys all tomorrow for the sale video for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon.